And now protesting the president, an emergency immigration rally is underway in downtown Miami in support of all those targeted by the Trump administration. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Bayfront Park with the story for us. Ted? Yeah, Elliot, this has gotten larger since we first came to you at 5 o'clock. You can see uh, the people here at the Torch of Friendship uh, who have been protesting for uh, about a half an hour right now. This is an anti-Trump rally from groups of several religious and ethnic backgrounds. They're rallying for immigrant rights. This is not what the United States should stand for. Rallying against the president, pro-immigrant and refugee groups stand shoulder to shoulder. They're protesting an anticipated executive order that could keep people from several Muslim countries out of the U.S. The communities are under attack. You know, immigrants are under attack, Muslims are under attack, refugees are under attack. So now more than ever, we need to stand together as a united front to resist all the things that are coming down the pipeline. President Donald Trump making no apologies for wanting to suspend the U.S. refugee program for 120 days. It specifically would stop acceptance for refugees from war-torn Syria. The world is a mess. The world is as angry as it gets. Well, you think this is going to cause a little more anger? The world is an angry place. A leaked draft of a proposed executive order also shows plans to suspend the issuance of visas from people coming from Iran, Iraq, Libya, Somalia, Sudan, Syria, and Yemen for at least a month. This shows the hypocrisy of, of Mr. Trump, of giving the false impression of giving safety and security. This does nothing for our safety and security. Wilfredo Ruiz is with the South Florida chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. He says Trump's actions show he's ostracizing people based on ethnicity and religion. It's just another, uh, another xenophobic message from Mr. Trump. Uh, misogynistic messages, xenophobic messages, Islamophobic messages. That's what we keep on hearing from Trump. And we thought that once he assumed the presidency, he will, he will let that aside and, and be the president for all of us. Trump campaigned that if he became president, he would use extreme vetting methods to weed out terrorists to thwart attacks like we've seen around the world. And back live now on Chopper 4. This uh, kind of shows the size uh, of the crowd here. So far, they are uh, pretty much staying uh, right here inside of the plaza at the Torch of Friendship. Uh, this is expected to go on until 7 o'clock. As far as that uh, expected executive order, we understand that could be signed sometime later on this week. Live in downtown Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.